Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominic, trainer here at Pragmatic Works, and today I'd like to talk to you about the conditional formatting feature in Microsoft Outlook and how you can use this feature to help you stay on top of those important emails that you don't want to miss. Stay tuned to learn how. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below so that you can stay up to date with us here at Pragmatic Works to see and watch all of the videos that we post here on our YouTube channel. Today, I would like to talk to you about the conditional formatting feature in Microsoft Outlook and how you can implement this feature so that it can help you stay on top of those important emails. So you can use conditional formatting and you can go in and set up a set of rules and conditions for certain emails, whether that's from a certain sender, uh, whether that's from a certain, uh, regarding certain keywords, whether that email has been marked as important, uh, highly important, or if it's flagged, whether that email has an attachment or not. So you are able to go in and set up those conditions so that certain emails that you wanna make sure that you do not miss that those are going to be indicated by a specific color, by a specific condition or rule that you put in place. So let's go ahead, let's find out and see how we set up these conditional rules. Once you are in your Microsoft Outlook inbox, I am here in the desktop application. You are going to go into the view tab of your Outlook email, and then you are gonna select the view settings button. So once you select the view setting button, you're then gonna see this pop out window here. Now this pop out window has a few different settings that you can explore here, but the one that we are gonna take a look at here today is the conditional formatting feature. So let's go ahead and select the conditional formatting feature, and then let's take a look at some of our options. So you can see that there are already some rules in place here for unread messages, unread group headers, submitted but not sent, expired email, overdue email, messages in other folders, and the site mailbox document pending upload. Now, if you wanted to go in and create a new one, let's say you would like to create a specific rule for important or flagged messages. So what you can do here to create those is you will select add to add in a new rule. I'm gonna go ahead and call this rule here flagged. And important. So we can regard flagged and important as one rule or if you would like, you can create separate rules for flagged and the importance of the email. So you can go in and change the settings there. So for this here, we could go in and change the font, what we would like to see for this rule. And for these flagged rules, I think I would like for this to appear semi bolded and I want the color to be red. So for me, this is going to be the color that's going to indicate to me, hey, this email is flagged and I need to address it. Otherwise, you're going to see that it just has that little flag like you can see here on the email. And while that is a great symbol to have to indicate that this is something that needs your attention that you need to follow up with, it can easily be overlooked. So once you have those settings in place, you'll click OK. Then you're going to go over to the condition section. Here is where you will go in and set up these different conditions. We'll come back to this view in just a second but let's check out more choices. So what you can do here now in order to set up an email rule, a conditional rule for when you have flagged messages, you can select this option here, only items which are, and then you can choose flagged by me, have no flag, or flagged by someone else, or marked completed. So I'm gonna select our flagged by me here now for this example. I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna click okay again. And once you hit OK now a final time, you're going to see that rule is now going to take effect. And now in addition to having this flag here, I can see this message appearing in red, letting me know this is something I need to follow up on and I need to make sure that I get back to Yasmini on this new project feedback request. 
All right, let's go in and create another rule. We're going to go back in the view settings tab into that button there under the view tab and select conditional formatting. Let's create another rule here now. And for this one, we are going to create a rule that is going to uh, change colors when an email has an attachment. So I'm going to select add and I'm going to rename this here to attachments so that I know exactly what this is for. I'm going to change the font color. I'm going to keep the font family, the style the same, but I'm going to change the color here now to blue because this is going to indicate to me, hey, there's an attachment here and I want to make sure that I download that attachment or at least address anything that needs my attention in that emailed attachment. So you'll go ahead here and click OK now and then you want to go in, make sure that is checked off and then go into condition. Now, once you are in condition, you're going to select more choices and then you can select only items with and you're going to see one or more attachments as one of the first options. Now we can go in here, click OK, click OK again, click OK another time here so that those settings are then applied to your inbox. Now we're going to see those emails that have attachments are now going to appear in blue. OK, we are going to create a, another condition here now and for this condition, I want formatting to be applied when an email is coming from a specific sender. So I'm going to go ahead here and select view settings, conditional formatting again. And for this one, let's go ahead and add a, another one here. And for this one, I want to see the emails that are going from my department manager. So I want to see those emails and I want those to stand out because I can't miss an email from my manager, I need to make sure that I am following up with every single email, every single task, every single action item that is sent to me from my manager. So I'll go in here and select the font. And for this, I'm going to change the font to bold and I'm going to change the color here to this fuchsia color because this color is going to jump out to me and it's going to make me want to click into this item here. So I'm going to click OK here now and then let's go into our condition. Now here's where we're going to go into this from field and we are going to search for our manager here now and you'll search for that individual's name, add them to the from field, then go ahead and click OK and then OK again. Now, once I hit OK this final time, you're going to see any emails that are already here in the inbox from my manager are going to update and any new ones that I receive will also update. This is true for our other rules as well. I'm going to go in here and create one more final rule here now. So I'm going to select view settings, conditional formatting and add. And for this one, this rule that I'm going to create is going to be for a particular keyword. For me, this is going to be regarding bonuses because I want to make sure that any bonuses that come in that I am absolutely going to see those right away and that I'm able to respond to those accordingly. So for this, I'm going to change the font color of this item to lime green and let's click OK. And now I'm going to go into the condition field again. And for this, I want to see any time the keyword bonus is mentioned. Now you can select subject field only, subject field and message body. You also have the option to select frequently used text fields. I'm going to select subject field and message body. I'm going to click OK, OK again, and a final time here. And now I see that change has been affected. So these rules, these conditions that I have set up for my emails, for my inbox, this is going to be applied not just to the current emails that are here in my inbox, but to all future emails that I may receive according to the conditions that I have set in place in here. All right, everyone, thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you found this video helpful as you begin going to set up those conditional formatting rules in your Microsoft Outlook inbox and for your email messages. If you are looking for more content from us outside of what we are posting here on our YouTube channel, make sure to check out the link in the description below for you to gain access and to check out our on-demand learning platform. Our on-demand learning platform has over 120 courses right now, over 20 that are free for life with that uh, 
community subscription. So you have access to those free for life courses with a free subscription. You can also preview some of our courses on there with that free subscription. And we have courses on Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps, Azure, Outlook, and many more. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.